Top in business tonight, Sajiko General has already started to pay claims arising from damage to businesses and homes in Dominica caused by Hurricane Maria. That's according to Assistant Vice President for Claims, John, John Chandler. He was recently in the island over an almost two-week period, along with other officials from the company. Mr. Chandler says they were able to get a full assessment of the situation on the ground, having met with and visited a number of affected customers. Our portfolio in Dominica um, has a majority as private, and we have commercial risk as well. And both entities have been impacted by Hurricane Maria. And our approach is in handling both components. Um, I can report, share with you, that we have already seen almost 50% of our risk exposure. Um, as you can appreciate, there are challenges within the demographics, getting around and so forth. Um, but we have started that process. We have been using um, our footprint in terms of our loss adjusters, our offices are open. There are a number of ways how we've been reaching out to the customer. Mr. Chandler says they've been utilizing a number of communication methods, including social media platforms like WhatsApp, to receive reports. He says the flow of information was instrumental in their ability to start paying claims. When I left after 12 days um, in Dominica, we were able to hand over some settlement checks to some of our valuable customers. Um, and we were able to do that in two fronts. We had private persons who we would have gone and done as best as we can to make sure we left them with a settlement check in hand, a settlement check being a full and final settlement, so we are paying claims already in Dominica. Um, we have also settled commercial clients as well. Again, that is another component that is very important to the whole rebuilding process, and we have already contributed in that area. The cost of doing business in Barbados and the wider Caribbean region continues to rise. That's according to Vice President of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Ezra Prescott. He made the comments at the Chamber's September business luncheon. The topic of the discussion was the impact the, of the inability to gain access to affordable finance is having on businesses. We are now forced to find more creative means of identifying and exploiting the efficiencies in our current operations and certainly seeking wherever possible to invest in one, making our businesses sustainable facilities or equipment to make our businesses more resilient to face the threats facing the region and, find, and three, finding new products or services to continually update our product offerings. And Mr. Prescott adds that there are also lessons to be learned for both businesses and individuals in the wake of the damage caused by Hurricanes Irma and Maria. I point to the excellent example of the Mexican government who in the aftermath of Hurricane Wilma in 2005 used their period of rebuilding as an opportunity to one, update the infrastructure supporting tourism, two, rebuild hotels improving the quality of the tourism product offered, and three, ensure that in their reconstruction efforts, the new infrastructure was more robust, resilient, and better able to manage any natural disasters or storms that may, might arise thereby increasing the sustainability of their tourism product. These efforts, however, require access to financing to supplement a business's capex reserves to make these efforts meaningful. Here now is a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. We get started in Jamaica, where Jamaica Broilers Group was the volume leader with 1,126,834 units they were followed by Careerbus Limited and Scotia Group Jamaica Limited. In Trinidad and Tobago, JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader with 48,889 shares changing hands for a value of $88,734.50 and they were followed by NCB Financial Group Limited and Guardian Holdings Limited. And in Barbados, Sajikor Financial Corporation Limited was the sole security trading 12,719 shares $2.40 each.